I founded the centre back in 2008 to put some disciplined research behind this set of questions around how perceptions are formed. And by perceptions, we actually are looking at obviously reputation, but we're also interested in a related set of broader concepts, including legitimacy, including status, and of course, including trust, one of the biggest issues facing businesses and business leaders today. The business school here in Oxford attracts a very wide and diverse geographic group of students uh, who come from all over the world, different backgrounds, uh, different identities, to study the critical area of business and business strategy. But one of the things I think they also really value here is dealing with what I call the grey areas, the judgment calls and the more difficult questions of leadership including how perceptions are formed. Talking about reputation in this digital world is a really interesting opportunity because reputations can be made or broken in a second. Um, so it's all the more important that we are thoughtful when we make choices and when we speak our opinions because everybody's listening. The reputation elective for me has been one of the highlights of my MBA program and that's because reputation is not something we think about a lot but what this course has really done is to unpack all of the different pieces and the different elements that help to build and form one's reputation and to understand the ways in which reputation can be sustained. One of the features that distinguishes us as a centre here at the Business School is the deep connections that we have with very senior business leaders and business professionals. We've built a roster of around 70 visiting fellows from all over the world and from different industries and also from different organisational types who we invite to Oxford to come and share their perspectives on leadership. As society changes, as the volume of information changes, as the data and evidence we have available to us in real time increases, the ability of reputation to play that role that regulation hasn't necessarily managed to play, I think is significant. So even if policymakers don't actually talk about it in terms of reputation, I think they are very aware that this is an area of work that has to be front and centre. All companies are increasingly aware that it's not simply how much money you make, but how you make money that counts. And the issues of environment, of social reputation, of being a good corporate citizen, these are the things that have moved up the agenda materially in recent times. And if you do not recognise that as a company, if you do not see that as something that is equally important to the amount of revenue and profit you're generating, then you do so at your peril. At the heart of our centre sit our postdoctoral research fellows. These are talented, early stage career researchers who spend three years with us focused on building their research portfolio. The value has been autonomy over my work, a very generous research budget, a spectacular network of interdisciplinary researchers and wonderful mentors who have helped me get to the next stage in my career. The centre has, I think, really made a great contribution to uh, the study of a subject which has, I think, been insufficiently looked at over the years. It's been a very considerable contribution in a business school which itself is very mindful of its reputation in a university which is of course equally concerned to keep its reputation as one of the greatest universities in the world. We're very proud of the work that we've done and we continue to do here in Oxford. Since we established the question of how people build perceptions and those social evaluations, both of businesses and their leaders, has only become much more salient, much more prescient, and much more important. For us, we feel like we've made some excellent first steps, but we're really excited about the opportunity to dig further into one of what we believe are the most critical determinants of business success. <laughs>